With just a short time remaining before judging begins, teams give it all they've got to finish their projects and put together their final portfolios. Hi everyone, I'm Emily Yakimoto, your host for the 2022 Cal Water H2O Challenge Series. It's an exciting time as our students wrap up their projects and put together their final deliverables. But before we check in with our two student teams, we're taking a quick detour over to Cal Water headquarters to learn more about all that goes into delivering water to millions of Californians every day and learn how and why the Cal Water H2O Challenge even started in the first place. Let's go. Hi, I'm Yvonne Kingman. I am the Director of Corporate Communications at California Water Service. We're a water utility. And what that means is we provide safe, clean water to about 2 million people up and down California every day. So whenever you turn on your faucet, you know that one, your water will be there, and two, it's going to be safe and clean. Most people don't think about where their water comes from, but it actually takes a lot of work behind the scenes to make sure it gets there reliably and that it's gonna be safe. So what we do is we have to secure water from what we call the source. And we treat all of that water to make sure it complies with very strict federal and state water quality standards. We test the water, we monitor it, then we store the water until it's ready to deliver to our customers at their homes or businesses. At California Water Service, we believe that kids can be our best ambassadors and they really have an opportunity to impact and change their own future. So we created the Cal Water H2O Challenge to give them this exact opportunity, to use their creativity, to do critical thinking and analysis, and to have fun all at the same time. I'm so excited to see all of the projects that our participating classrooms have developed this year, what challenges they're facing, the solutions that they're offering for these challenges. Every participating classroom has done a fantastic job, and they're all winners in my book. Today is a very exciting day. Students in my class have written an announcement that they will then be able to share over the loudspeaker. All of the students from my class will go into every classroom in the school to award prizes to every single student who participated in the water task logs. This portfolio is amazing. They have created something bigger than, than themselves, really. They are so excited to send this off. It's been a really fun, interesting experience for me because I, I like working together with other people. And I think that I, I learned a lot about what a group of 24 people can make and affect probably hundreds of people in the school. Even if we don't win, it will be really worthwhile to do this project because we're just teaching other people and ourselves on how to conserve water. I would recommend for other schools and other students to participate in the Cal Water H2O Challenge because if they do, they'll definitely learn some new things about water and problems with water that they didn't know before. And um, it's also really fun. Five, four, three, two, one. I want the kids to finally begin to tie everything together. We're gonna to add the governmental component. We've done the biological and the chemical and, and just the, the water issues research. But now we're going to tackle this, this last part. How can we help make sure that this doesn't happen again? We will submit our cow water project this week. It feels good because we've been doing it for a few months now. It's been a really fun experience. It feels really great because I just want to help our community so that people don't get any like headaches and stuff and that people could, could smell the air and that they could have oxygen. I will recommend the cow water for other students since it can help them learn more things that they never knew and how important is the water. Long after the kids are are gone from my class and from Delamo. I want them to be good people who will go on to, you know, to help their communities. And I pray that they'll remember these lessons I've tried to instill in them. Absolutely incredible work to our two student teams and 
to everyone out there who participated in this year's challenge. Next stop, judging, and a surprise reveal of this year's grand prize winning team. See you then.